So first of all, what I'm going to do, let's say X and delete everything. Now we need a pencil. We can create a pencil or we can download a pencil. So I have to save a little bit of time. So I'm going to download a pencil from here. And this is Blender Kit Online Asset Library. And how did you get this? You can go to your browser and from your browser you can search for blender kit add-on and you can download it from here after downloading it go to edit preferences and install that add-on after installing that add-on you'll see something like this and check this box after after you check this box you'll see the, something like this and you have to type pencil uh, now you'll get a lot of the assets just for free and you can also purchase some for 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 extra assets but there there will be a lot of free stuff too okay just select this one anything just select anything we, we just we are just here to understand the writing animation not the creation of the pencil select the pencil this is too small i'm just creating scaling it just a bit r x 90 okay this is rotated but this is not on the floor i just want it on the floor so what do i do how do i do that we can grab it something like this but if we want it exactly on the floor so press tab we are on the vertex selection mode okay not on the edge not on the face this is edge selection mode uh, vertex selection mode seven for the top view control seven for the bottom view so on the bottom select this vertex after selecting this vortex shift s cursor to select it now our cursor is on selection position okay like shift s uh, cursor to select it our 3d cursor should be on that selected area and the selected area was that point was that vortex okay now our 3d cursor is here now press tab right click the 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 object is selected right click set origin origin to 3d cursor now our origin the, the origin the origin is here the object's origin now right click set origin origin to 3d cursor now our origin is here on the 3d cursor now if we rotate then this will be rotate by using that origin so what i am going to do i'm going to clear the location of this pencil so it would be on the floor exactly on the floor alt g to clear the location now this is exactly on the floor so our pencil is ready and now we need our writing animation add-on and this is not here so first of all download it through the link that I've given in the description go to edit preferences and if you have uh, downloaded it then first of all install it and then after installing it search for it or you will see after installing it uh, check this box after checking this box you will see writing animation uh, option is here now click on this the selection is on the text but you can also select curves and by the way both are the same both are the are the same things this add-on only works on curves not on the mesh uh, not on the text it doesn't work with anything else okay so what I'm gonna do uh, text is selected hello world okay and I'm just going to reduce it to, to 200 the length uh, now I'm going to select the writer our pencil this pencil okay this pencil will be would be the writer now I'm going to select the the the, the script something like let me select okay let me select this okay uh, create writing animation so let me show you something if you if you see it closely let me select one of them and zoom in you'll see these are curves okay these are curves not meshes like these are not mesh these are curves basically these are these are curves so this add-on works on curves so control z control z control z so what if i have to use my own font so can we use it or not let me let me show you something shift a text and what if I use my own font? Nope. I does not have my own font. 
uh, my chosen font okay <laughs> my chosen font yeah okay let me show you something writing animation this is i can't choose this one but what if i go to the text and selected curves this is not a curve so what if we use something like this create animation create while in animation then there's an error showing no curve objects selected to create this animation okay so what we can do this is not a curve this is a font right click this is a text right click and convert to curve now this is a curve okay so what if we selected curve this is now this is curve okay so what if we create writing animation now the animation is created the animation is created and you can see now this is now this is curve you can see there's no face in between create with your own font let me control z control z control z control z okay uh, from from one more time okay because th this is converted to curve now this is font okay go to the object direct properties and from the font uh, drop down you can select anything else uh, rather than that the default one okay let me select this one okay or something like this oh haven't changed why haven't changed okay 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 if i choose something like this and then by animation selected curve no 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 right click convert convert to curve right in animation create right in animation and you can see something like this this is created but using curves okay so one more thing one more thing control z control z control z delete this text okay one more thing what if i use something like i need a i need a bezier curve okay tab and this is here this is here let me let me create a question mark or something okay store it here something like a question mark okay is it looks like a question mark one more point needed but okay it doesn't matter just just to show you why this is down here okay because our 3d cursor was here so shift c to reset the location of our 3d cursor now i'm going to press this one shift s the selection to cursor so our selection is our curve and this should be on that cursor great now what i'm going to do writing animation selected curve the, the curve is selected and create the writing animation but this is 250 too much long no 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 250 is too 200 is too much 100 would be fine okay this is also very slow so we can use curves we can use text uh, we can use anything but this add-on works only with curves okay and let me fix this thing the pencil is far from our empty and empty is on exactly where it should be so the the, the empty is on the right place but, but our pencil is not but one more thing you can see this line this blue line this means that the empty is the parent of this pencil because if we select this pencil sorry the empty and grab it the the pencil is also moving and if we move the pencil the empty is not moving so this is the child this is the parent and so we don't, don't need to parent it but what we can do select this one we don't need any keyframe here because because this is following this empty so why would we need any keyframe to this so press x and d delete every keyframe but the distance we don't need this distance so select this one shift s and cursor to select it the cursor should be on the on this selected area and our 3d cursor is in the center of this empty now select this one this uh, shift s now this selection should be that cursor 
to that 3d cursor so click on this now this is on that 3d cursor if we move it here or anywhere else you can see this is following exactly what we uh, how we want okay great 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 uh, what if we have to change the speed after we have like created the animation like what we if we have to control like if you have to change the speed control z control z and writing animation and just change the length from here no i don't want this i i, I just don't really want this to, to, to do this so what we can do just select this empty uh, select this empty and you can see there's a lot of in, uh, uh, keyframes and you can scale the keyframes from here but for but the if you if you scale the animation of this empty but you will not change the animation of uh, the keyframes of this question mark then it will be problematic let me show you if if we just do from for this one from the first keyframe just if i do just for this one you can see the difference of the speed the empty is slow curves speed is fast and there's a mismatch so this will create a bit of problem and to to if it does not want to face that problem select the curve okay select the curve select the empty by shift holding shift and now we can scale at the same time we scale down on 60 both has scaled okay I just wanted to say just scale up or down by selecting both of them thanks for watching and bye